Hello YouTube! And before I start this video, let me put a disclaimer that this is my personal opinion based on how I experience and played them. So, it's time to make a tier list for solo leveling Arise and it consists of two tier lists. The first one is a tier list on how they perform when they are playing as a support for Jin Wu. And the next tier list is about their performance when they're playing as a team. Then the last part of the video is my suggestion who to choose for overall performance, both support and team play. So let's get started. So in this tier list, it's about their performance as a support and you will use them to provide buffs and boost Jin Wu's total damage when he's about to execute his skill or his total damage output. Another thing in this tier list is based on how they can sustain Jin Wu how can they provide buffs, and how can they execute the debuffs. Okay, so starting from D tier Hunter Park Biom Sik, he deals wind damage based on his defense, then apply airborne effect. If monsters are airborne, Jin Woo can execute a follow-up skill. The only downside of this skill is it can only affect small and medium type monsters. Next is Han Song Yi. She deals water damage based on her attack then poisons the target that scaled on her attack as well. Actually, I tried it and the damage is awful unless the poison damage is based on the max HP of the target. Next is Jo Kyuan. He deals light damage then burns the target that scaled on his attack. Similar effect of poison damage from Han Songi. Moving on to C tier list and it's starting from Yu Jin Ho. He's a free SR hunter and he deals light damage based on his defense. Then break medium amount of the target's shield. Then drop a potion on the floor and recovers Jin Wu's HP. Actually, he's a good support but easily power creep by other available support hunter. Next is Mr. Song. He's also a free SR hunter that deals fire damage and burns the target based on his attack. Then add increased damage dealt that only works to non-boss monsters. Actually, he's also great if only this increased damage dealt can work on boss monsters as well. Next in the list is Wang dong -suk. He deals dark damage based on his max HP and break medium amount of target's shield then stun the target for 1 second. He's also great and I recommend building him if he's the only hunter you got when breaking both shields together with Yu Jin Ho. Next in the list is Anna Ruiz. She deals water damage based on her attack then break medium amount of target's shield. Just pretty straightforward kit. Then last in the C tier list is Kang Tae Sik. He deals dark damage based on his attack, then bleed the target. In the end game, he can be an S tier hunter because his bleed effect is based on target's current HP. But with the recent update, some boss monsters are immune to poison effect, especially the end game content after clearing the chapter 14 story. Moving on to the B tier hunters and it starts with Mr. Kim. He deals wind damage based on his attack and break large amount of target's shield. Actually, he's a low-key great shield breaker support in the current hunters. Next on the list is Baby Park Heejin. And, and she deals wind damage based on her attack and apply breeze effect on allies that boosting their ultimate damage then removes debuff. She can also remove the damage over time effect like bleed and poison which are both pretty annoying if you're not using healer in your team composition. Next on the list is Wang Dongsu and he deals wind damage based on his defense then stuns the target. He's a little bit better than his younger brother although his brother can break the target's shield but he's an SSR so his base stats are higher. 
Next on the list is Lee Bora, and she deals dark damage based on her attack, then apply Charm Debuff on target. She can also remove the debuff zone around the targeted monster. Some part of the game has debuff zone applied by monsters or bosses, or the best example is the huge snake boss in the early game, and also charm monsters will receive more damage. Next on the list is Miss Nam, and she deals ice damage based on her max HP, and freeze the target, then break medium amount of target's shield. And in my experience, she can freeze even the large type monsters or even the bosses. And then the last on C tier Hunter is Lim Taeyu. He deals dark damage based on his attack and break medium amount of target's shield, then apply magic boost buff. Magic boost buff increases the damage of the core attacks. And core attack is a type of skill that can be executed after a series of normal attacks or after a series of skills. You will notice the gauge around the normal attack and that's where you can use the core attack once you fill it up. Okay, so let's move on to the A tier hunters and first on the list is Kim Chul and he deals light damage based on his defense and break medium amount of target's shield then provides shield based on his defense as well. And the amount of shield that he can provide is actually huge just keep stacking defense stat on him. Basically, he's easy to get since he's an SR hunter and among the SR hunters, He's the best in my opinion. Next on the list is Lee Juhi, and she's a free SR healer. She also deals damage based on her max HP and immediately heals Jin Wu, then casts an AoE healing and heals the party that scaled on her max HP. The next hunter is So Ji Wu. And she deals water damage based on her max HP and break medium amount of target's shield then knock it down but it only affects small and medium sized monsters so Jin Woo can follow up a combo attack. She can also apply shield to all allies made her more better shielder than Kim Chul especially when doing dungeon breaks. Next on the list is Emma Laurent and she deals fire damage based on her max HP and apply airborne effect so Jin Woo can follow up a combo attack. She can also provide buffs that increase defense, defense penetration, and increase the fire attacks. Next on the list is Mr. Wu and he deals wind damage based on his defense and break medium amount of target's shield, then immediately replenish two dash bars. Basically, he's a lifesaver since dash has a cooldown and there are times that you might dash a spam when avoiding multiple obstacles or multiple AOE attacks of the enemies. And he's also a free SSR on 7th day and his signature weapon on the 14th day of your logins. Next on the list is Mr. Choi and he deals fire damage based on his attack and apply burn on target and knocks it down so Jin Woo can follow up a combo attack. He also reduced the target's defense and he is similar to our next hunter on the list which is Baek Yun Ho that deals light damage based on his defense and break medium amount of target's shield then reduce the defense. And the last hunter on the tier list is Min Byung Gu. And he deals light damage based on his max HP, then knocks down the target so Jin Woo can follow up a combo attack. He can also apply a debuff on the target that increasing the damage taken and heals Jin Woo every second. Okay, so here's the final look of my personal tier list and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So now let's move on to the next tier list which is the tier list when they are on the team play. So in this tier list, they are categorized on how wide their attacks or best example is how fast can they clear a wave of monsters and their personal damage. Starting from C tier and the hunters are Yu Jin Hong, Mr. Song, 
Han Song Yi, Park Byung Sik, Jo Kwon, Anna Ruiz, and Mr. Kim. All their attacks have small AoE and mostly have single target. And Mr. Song is a little bit better, but Mr. Choi will be the first limited banner and it's a fire element hunter. So you'd rather invest on him since his signature weapon is also free just by participating the dice event. So moving on to the B tier hunters and it's starting from Kim Buell. Even though he's a great support shielder in the first tier list, for team play his shield is actually only available after casting his ultimate skill. Next is Wang Dong Suk. His skill are mostly on breaking the target's shield and he has a little wide AoE attacks compared to the other C tier hunters. And then there's Miss Nam. What I like about her in a team play is not only she can break the shield of the target but also freeze them and she has 3 free skill. From ultimate skill, her basic skill, and the QTE skill. All these skills are working on boss monsters. Next on the list is Park Heejin, and she's actually good. She's a heavy damage dealer, and most of her attacks have wide AoE, but lacking of different aspects like developing the monsters and breaking their shield. Next on the list is Kang Taesik. And his skills might not be his great asset, but if you check his core skill, he actually has a great damage multiplier. And last on the B tier list is Mr. Wu. He's an SSR but his skills are mostly solo damage and with small AoE and also a small range. Well, he's great when using as a support hunter, but for team play, he's actually mid. So let's move on to the A tier hunters and let's start with Lee Ju Hee. The game don't have enough healers yet so without Min Byung Gu, she's your best option. Especially on higher stages, you might want to use a sustainer hunter like shielder or a healer. Next is So Ji Woo and she's a great shield buffer and a shield breaker and also a DPS. Her skills are all spammable so you need to look out on her MP as she drains it quickly. She's actually all you want if you want to replace Kim Buell in your team composition. Next on the list is Emma Laurent, and she's a great hunter as well. She buffs the entire team, breaks the shield of the monsters, and has wide AoE skills. And she synergizes with Far Type Hunter, especially if you will tag her with Mr. Choi. Next on the list is Bae Kyun Ho, and he's also a great hunter. He can break the shield of a target and then apply reduced defense. And he has a high burst ultimate damage. And sometimes I don't like his skill execution because he missed some damage when leaping in the air and then attacking the target from above. Next on the list is Lim Taeyul and his damage output is a little bit weaker but it works out with the proper artifact set. Also, he's a long range hunter and nimble so he can easily dodge the incoming attacks. Next is Lee Bora and she has wide AoE attacks and her skill damage they can develop is actually useful just like Min Byung Gu. Then the last on the list is Wang Dong Su and he may not have a great kit on his skill description but his skills are spammable. You will more likely to just spam his skill than use his normal attack and he has wide AoE attacks and high single target damage. The only downside is how quickly he can drain his MP. And for the S tier hunters, they are Min Byung Gu and Mr. Choi. Min Byung Gu is the only best healer in the current hunters, and his skills have wide AoE. While Mr. Choi has best AoE attacks, from normal attacks to ultimate skill, all of it have wide AoE with high damage output. So, pulling for him will not be a waste and it's actually worth it. So what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and for my suggestion hunters, they are Min Byung Gu as the number one hunter that you needed in the game, So Ji Woo, Mr. Choi if you're going to pull for him, and then Emma Lauren. 
I will also make a weapon tier list so please look forward to it. So that's all in this video. Please stay tuned for more and thanks for watching.